This is lesson 36, which is VHDL example 20. And in this lesson, we're going to design the 4-bit comparator that we designed in lesson 35 by cascading four 1-bit comparators. But in this case, we're going to use a VHDL procedure. We'll see how that works. You remember from the last lesson, we designed this 1-bit comparator. We made this truth table and then by using Carnot maps you could get these three logic equations for G out, E out, and L out. So we're going to use those to make a one-bit comparator and then instantiate four copies of it. So this is going to be our four-bit comparator, four one-bit comparators. Now to do this in VHDL it looks as if a for loop might work. Remember, when you go through a for loop, it makes multiple copies of the circuit. And here we want to make four copies of the same thing. So the question is, how can we use a for loop to do this? And we're going to use a VHDL procedure. Here's the general form of a procedure. It's the word procedure followed by some identifier. And then this parameter list is essentially the same as in a port map in the entity that will just give the inputs and outputs and then you have is the declarations begin end procedure and then your sequential statements in here well let's see how it works we're going to make a four bit comparator x is three down to zero x3 x2 x1 x0 y is the four bit input y3 y2 y1 y0 and then the outputs are greater than, equal, or less than. Greater than, equal, or less than. So, here's how you do it. In the architecture, after the word is and before the begin of the architecture, where you normally put your component declarations, we're going to put the word procedure comp one bit. So we're defining this one bit comparator that we designed. The inputs are x, y, g in, and l in. Those are of type standard logic, single bits. In the output, it's G out, L out, and E out. So this is what we're making. And all we do in the begin, between begin and end procedure, is write down the logic equation for G out, for E out, and for L out that we got from the Carnot maps. So this defines this one bit comparator that we called comp one bit. Well then, in the main part of the, uh, of the architecture, we have a process xy, this is the inputs, x3, x2, x1, x0, y3, y2, y1, y0. And we'll define a variables, g, l, and e, 5 down to 0. So we have g4, g3, g2, g1, g0. L4, L3, L2, L1, L0. And we'll also include uh, E4, E3, E2, E1, and E0. Now, of course, we don't use the lower four ones. We're only going to use E4, uh, E4 when it comes out. So how does the algorithm work? Well, you remember we set G0 and L0 to 0. And then we just go through a for loop four times. For I equals 0 to 3 loop, first time through i is equal to 0 so the parameters of comp 1 bit are just going to be x0, y0, g0, and l0 that's x0, y0, g0, and l0 and the outputs are gi plus 1 which would be g1, l1, and e1 g1, l1, and e1 which we don't connect anything well, we just keep going around the loop so the first time through we made this component Next time through, i is equal to 1, so the inputs are x1, y1, g1, and l1, x1, y1, g1, and l1, and the outputs are g2, l2, and e2, g2, l2, and the e2 doesn't get connected. Third time through the loop, i is equal to 2, the inputs are x2, y2, g2, l2, x2, y2, g2, and l2, outputs g3, l3, and e3. And then the fourth time through, i is equal to 3, 
So we have x3, y3, g3, and l3 as inputs, and the outputs are g4, l4, and e4. Well, we've made all four of them now, so greater than is just going to be g4, the equal is the e4, and less than is the l4. So that's it. We've made this four-bit comparator using this procedure, comp one bit that we just called four times. We could simulate it to see that it works. Let's make x go from 0 to f using a counter. We'll set y to 7. When x is 0 to 6, it's less than y here. When it's equal to 7, it's equal to y. And when it's 8 to f, it's greater than y. So in fact, it works. You can look at the details of what's in g, l, and e for each step along the way and verify how the circuit works. Let's make a top-level design with the eight switches, and we'll compare the top four switches to the lower four switches. We'll compare them, and for the three LEDs, we'll connect those to less than, equal, and greater than. So here's the comp four that we had. Three, bit, three down to zero for x, three down to zero for y. The outputs will be greater than, equal, less than. That's the component. And then we just port map it. We'll connect x to the upper four switches, y to the lower four switches, and we'll make LD0 greater than, LD1 equal, and LD2 less than. So you can download uh, this program to your FPG board, and as you change the upper switches and the lower switches, you can observe the LEDs and verify that you either get greater than, equal, or less than for the 4-bit comparator.